Welcome back to Enamored Risks. I am in the middle of a date. Well, Alex is in the middle of the date. I'm just sitting here. I'm the narrator. I... I should have thought about which qu which answer to the question I was going to pick. Uh... I don't know. I don't know. I know it's stupid, but I honestly don't. My distress must show on my face because Zayna reaches over and places her hand on top of mine, squeezing. I lose myself in the sensation and focus only on the feeling of her hand over mine. It's warm. Comforting. That's fine to not know. I mean, look at me. I do look at her. She's grinning, but it's softer somehow. More reassuring. I squeeze her hand back. She takes a sip of her soda and regards me with a look I'm unused to from her. Zayna looks... thoughtful? Curious? I can't quite tell. When was the last time you took a class outside of your major? I pause. I haven't. My silence seems to tell Zayna all she needs to know because she continues. You should try other classes. See what you like, what you don't like. If all you've taken are nursing courses, you're just screwing yourself over. My parents don't seem to think so. They'd actually prefer it that way. But that's the point, isn't it? Not letting my parents tell me what to do. I'm not trying to force you into finding something else you're in love with here. Just think about taking a class for fun. For fun? Maybe we can even take a class together. A class with Zena? The class will probably be trash, but at least we'll get to we'll get to talk about it together. <laughs> Laughter blooms from my chest in spite of my best effort to swallow it. It's unreal. The thought of taking a class with Zena actually sounds, to borrow her words, fun. Spending more time with Zena is undoubtedly something I'm interested in, and for once, the thought of taking another class isn't stressful. Sure, that sounds good. Great, actually. <laughs> Zena looks like the cat that got the cream. I should feel wary, but it's excitement that bubbles in my stomach, not fear. I'll be the one picking the class, though. I make a big show of groaning as though I don't trust her. Zayna feeds off of it as, as feeds off of it as her grin somehow gets even wider. I just signed my death warrant, didn't I? You sure did. Could the next semester come any faster? A couple days later, we all agree to meet up. It's supposed to be a nice time in an abandoned amusement park. For me, it's a break from all the assignments I've been drowning in lately. But things are tense. Zayna, Paxton, and I watch Finn with bated breath as he climbs up the tracks of one of the roller coasters. I should be worried about how natural he makes it look. How many times has he done stuff like this? Sure enough, fear grips me at the same time Zayna shouts at him. He's getting awfully high up. I've got enough of you being an idiot. If you fall, I'm leaving. I'm not scooping up your brains off the ground. I'll be fine. <clears throat> I'll be fine. This isn't the worst thing I've done. Should Finn even be talking right now? I'd rather he focus on climbing. How he manages to see Zayna's unconvinced face that high up, I don't know, but it spurs him to do something completely insane. Finn leans back and takes one hand off the tracks. My stomach drops. I feel like throwing up. But I'm more worried about Zayna's reaction. There's no way this is sitting well with her. I glance at her nervously. nervously just in time to see the furious look on her face before she whips around and stalks off in the opposite direction. Zayna, wait. I don't stay long enough to hear Paxton's objections. I hurry after Zayna as fast as my feet can take me. My legs are almost no match for the fury that fuels Zayna. She's fast. Incredibly fast. I'm grateful that she occasionally feels the need to release her anger by kicking various pieces of debris because it slows her down some. When she pauses to punt a, a cone across the park, I catch up to her. Her pace slows down to something more leisurely. All that walking and kicking must have tired her out. Was it a good idea to leave him? Finn must be the last thing she wants to talk about, but it doesn't change the fact that I'm worried about him. What if he does fall? He might hurt himself. <laughs> he'll be fine. Paxton's still there to watch over him, so he'll be fine. Is she trying to convince me or herself? We slow to a stop in front of the Ferris wheel. Zayna still looks agitated and seems short of yelling her first and seems short of yelling out her frustrations in the empty park. It's probably very effective, but big as the park is, we shouldn't do something that'll draw attention towards us. 
just in case anyone happens to be nearby. So what to do? Zane is starting to look rec restless in front of the ferris wheel and... Wait, that's it. The ferris wheel. Zaina. What? What do you say to an impromptu photo shoot? The proposal has Zaina looking up from where she'd been glaring at earlier. Her mouth twitches and I let myself hope for a moment. But instead of smiling, she scoffs. My heart sinks. No thanks. I don't like taking pictures when I'm upset. They always turn out bad. That may be the case, but I won't let that deter me. I pull out my phone. Who said you were taking the pictures? What? I'm the one taking the pictures, not you. I hold my phone in one hand and gesture for her to move in front of the ferris wheel with the other. Go on. You can survive being the model just this once. A surprise Zena is already rare enough, but the laugh that erupts from her lips is something else. It's full-bodied, not like her usual chuckle, which usual chuckles, which are brief and often gives the impression that she's laughing at you, not with you. But this laugh is warm, pleasant in, a way, in the way a cozy blanket might feel during the winter. It fills the space, displacing the quiet, and all I know is that I'd give anything to hear it again. <laughs> I settle for the smile that lingers on her lips instead of a, instead, as a smile of my own shyly shows itself at the sight. As instructed, Zena positions herself closer to the ferris wheel while I move myself further back, mindful of the debris that litters the ground. You sure you can tell the difference between photo and video mode? Just for that, I'll make you blurry in all these photos. Oh, I don't think you'll need to try for them to turn out blurry. Are your models always so insufferable? Dunno, you've never modeled for me. And neither of us wants to back down, and our cheeky grins show it. In the end, I'm the one to move things along, if only because Finn and Paxton will probably be done exploring soon. So how do you want to do this, Miss Photographer? Uh, well, I sure wish I knew what this meant. Do that one, because I want to know what it means. Do your best smize. I zoom in, intending to catch Zena at an unflattering angle, but I'm unprepared for the intensity of her gaze and nearly drop my phone. This is fine. Zena looks at me all the time. No need to get flustered. Unfortunately, Zena seems to realize the effect she has on me because she smirks. Despite my early instructions to do any to do any smiling with your eyes. You're looking a little red. Too hot? Nobody said anything about you being hot. Her smirk widens. I meant the weather. But thanks, I'm flattered. I want to die. Though the photo shoot couldn't have been more than ten minutes, it felt much longer. We had gone through so many poses after all, though most of them were ridiculous. And to think that I have photo evidence of everything. Sure, none of it embarrasses Zena, but it's still nice to see her in a different light, outside of just being awesome and cool. Honestly, I didn't actually expect her to go through with all of them. But my next proposal might be the hardest sell yet. Zena, I can see her suspicion from a mile away. I carry on anyway. What? Let's take a picture together. She just stares at me, and I try not to squirm under her scrutiny. A selfie. You want a selfie, don't you? Y yes I know it must be some kind of cardinal sin for photographers, but please, won't you indulge me? I tried the puppy dog eyes that weren't so effective on her before. It's my only play. A few agonizing seconds pass, and to my surprise, Zena finally motions for me to join her side. I can't help it. I can't keep the grin off my face. It stays even as Zena pinches my cheek when I join her side. All right, I'll do only one take, so you better be ready. I can't mess this up. Slowly, I angle the phone such that the ferris wheel is in this shot. Then I make sure Zena and I aren't too cramped. I'm no Zena, but I do my best to account for everything before taking the photo. When everything looks good, I ready the shot. Ready. At Zena's nod, I move to press the button. Just before I finish it, finish pressing it, a flash of movement blindsides me, and so does the featherlight touch on my cheek. It takes a second to sink in, but just as the phone flashes, I can stare. I can only stare dumbly at the screen. Me, my lips parted and my cheeks flushed. Zena, eyes closed and her lips brushing my cheek. What? The hand holding my phone hangs limply at my side while the other reaches up to touch my cheek. Though lasting for only a moment, the feeling of her lips on my cheeks is one that'll surely stay with me forever. But, God, did that really just happen? I turn to Zena, but expecting her to smirk at my shock. But it's a soft smile I barely get a glimpse of before she turns as well in the direction of where we came from. Come on, the boys are probably waiting for us. 
I follow her in a daze, and before I know it, we're back at the entrance. Finn and Paxton stand up as we approach. The sight of the boys just happened to be what, what I need, needed to snap me out of my stupor. As I look over Finn, relieved he's unharmed. That must be thanks to Paxton. When my eyes finally reach his face, though, I find Finn surveying us with a similar intensity. You're in a good mood, Zena. Instead of denying it like she usually would, she just hums under her breath and turns to me. Want a ride back to your place? Oh, um, sure. The boys wave goodbye and we go our separate ways. The ride back is much easier on my heart this time, which I'm grateful for. Plenty of other things involving girls' lips and cheeks have done their own number on it. Still, who am I to deny an opportunity to, to hold Zena as close to me as possible? The loss of contact is that much more disappointing, though, when we finally arrive at my apartment. Apartment. I try to find an excuse to dawdle as much as possible. Send me the pictures when you have time. I'm not sure where I find the confidence, but I take it. Anything is better being than, be than being a flustered mess. I push memories of the kiss back to the back of my head, where I can linger on them later. Do you plan on grading my work? Instead of rising to my bait, J Zayna just shoots me her trademark smirk and poses and pokes my forehead before setting off in her motorcycle. Oh boy, what have I gotten myself into? I had sent Zane the pictures last night just before I slept, and in the morning, I wake up to text from her. Over breakfast, I look them over. It's difficult to keep the smile off of my face. B plus, B plus, nice effort. We'll accept kisses for extra credit. It brings forth memories of the kiss, and my hands subconsciously wander to my cheek. Her touch somehow still lingers. If I could make Zayna flustered for even the slightest bit, I'd give her as many kisses as she wants. But really, I'm just relieved she didn't brush off the kiss as just a one-time thing, even if it was only on the cheek. I go to school today with the feeling that I can conquer the world. Don't I have a test? The texts my parents send me later don't bother me in the slightest. Ever since we've agreed to start seeing each other, Zane has taken to giving me rides whenever we go out as a group. It's crazy how quickly she endeared me to riding motorcycles. Well, I suppose getting the chance to hug Zayna with each ride had some part in it. Tonight is no different. I scroll through a group chat to the latest text. Finn is already on his way and Paxton is just finishing up at the cafe. It shouldn't be too long now. In the meantime, I ask Zayna that's been nagging me ever since she picked me up. So why didn't you bring your camera equipment tonight? It might be because I can. I. It might be because I've spent been spending a lot of time with her lately, but I can tell she's not pleased with the current arrangement. She must feel like a fish out of water. She's quiet for much longer than I expected, though, and I blink, unused to silence from Zena. There's a police station not too far out from here. She points north, the way we came from, and I briefly recall passing by one on on the way to the mansion. So there's a lot of patrols in the in this area. That checks out but it still doesn't explain why she didn't bring her camera. Zayna must see the confusion on my face, because she continues. That was a while back. We were still pretty new to Urbex. New and stupid. At that, I straighten up. Curious. They don't talk about their past explorations that often. I think it was at an old hospital that was going to be demolished soon. So we were eager to check it out before they tore down the building. We didn't account for security, though. They catch Pax first, then Finn, and when one of them sees me, well, that's when all that's when that's when it all breaks loose. Apparently, one of the officers saw me with my camera. Uh oh, I see where this is going. Yeah, exactly. It was dark out, and none of us can really see very well. The officer, without the flashlight, just saw something in my hands and assumed it was a gun. So they decided to pull their guns on us. I shudder. I can't imagine what that must have been like. My palms are already sweaty just from the thought of it. There's a lot of shouting, and it's dramatic as heck, but things settle down when they realize it was just a camera. We got off with warnings, if you can believe that. Despite how scary it must have been, Zane is smiling as she finishes recalling the incident. My guess is it's because it brought, it brought the three of them closer. Dad, it was the sort of far-fetched tale you, that you'd tell others for entertainment. But we didn't want to take chances this time. She nods at the phone in my hand. That's why we're doing the pictures on the phone for this one. Their reasons for doing that make sense. I wouldn't want to risk it either. 
but what sticks me with me from Zena's story is that they were caught. I thought you guys always evaded the authorities when you go out. Nah, it happens all the time within the community, especially if you're just starting out. That doesn't sound reassuring. I'd never considered the possibility of getting caught in all the times I've gone out with the group before. Their Instagram made them appear untouchable. And apart from that moment with Zena and the glass, our adventures had always gone without through without a hitch. Now? I don't know. I enjoy my time with everyone, but I'd also enjoy a secure job, whenever that might be. Having an arrest on my record for trespassing doesn't exactly make me a prime hiring material. At some point I'm going to need to establish boundaries, what I will and won't do. But for now... Hey, Spacey Head, you doing okay? Zayna places a hand on my shoulder and I touch it, playing with her fingertips. I'm fine. I hold up my phone and shake it. It was supposed to be Zayna taking the pictures on her phone, but she'd said something earlier about accidentally breaking hers. She didn't exactly elaborate. I'm just thinking about what I can do to improve my grade. I'll be aiming for higher than a B plus this time. Normally I would have gotten a chuckle or a smirk from Zayna by now. Instead, her face looks inscrutable. The part that I'm able to see at least, because she's dropped the hand on my shoulder and turned away from me. Her gaze, meanwhile, is fixed resolutely on the ground, and I wonder what could be so interesting about a couple rocks. For such a warm night, the air is rather frosty. Um, I scramble for something, anything to say. Should I use any filters when I'm taking the pictures? Or, um, is that something I should do after? Does Zayna even use filters? Zayna shrugs and picks a, picks a piece of lint off her jacket in the silence. Did I do something wrong? My brain is buzzing with the possibilities of what had possibly turned things sour, but before I could pick any of the theories apart, Finn appears. He distracts me long enough with talk of exams that Zayna's odd behavior is the least of my concerns. Paxson arrives shortly after. When I was asked to take the pictures for tonight, I had been excited. I thought it was something Zayna and I could do together. We should end this episode. We should end this episode. Bye-bye. <laughs>